Hi guys, this is KidLink77, and welcome back. Let's play The Lind of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we made it through some of um, Hyrule Castle. Took out the King Bulbin for the uh, final time. And uh, in this episode, we're going to continue on to the castle. In the last uh, episode, we uh, took a path. We chose that path over there. And in this episode, I'm going to show you where this path over here leads to. Yeah, I told you I would meet you back in this room, and that's where we are. Uh, that uh, statue looked kind of creepy for a moment, but I guess it's fine. Now, this path over here is the harder path of the two, I suppose, to, uh, you know, to go through. Um, the puzzles are, you know, lower difficult, and um, the, uh, yeah, it's a longer thing. So, anyway, we have some losers over here we got to take care of. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? And uh, let's see. So what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Can I do it? No. Oh, he was too fast. All right. Well, we got those both. Awesome. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off my um, my uh, bombs for the moment because we don't really need them. And as you can see, we have uh, we have pictures everywhere. Yeah, we have pictures that you know are dangling stuff like that. And uh, if you decide to do, uh, do, excuse me, that, we have switches that appear. Uh, we do, however, have a lot of pictures to, uh, to choose from. So, if you choose uh, the wrong picture, I'll show you what happens. Uh, if you choose this one, that'll open the door. But what happens if you choose the wrong picture? You know, wrong switch to hit. That happens. You get a bunch of choose, but... You know, they're, they'll, they'll give you a little bit of healing stuff. Uh, I don't know if those guys will mix. Yeah. Oh, they will mix. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, red and red will make the purple. Or red and red make red. Or red and, uh, what's it called? Uh, red and uh, yellow will make uh, redder. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so you'll have to deal with a bunch of chews that fall. But, yeah, not, you know, too bad to handle. But, for coming on this path over here we have two dark nuts to face so you know what to do here um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna edge over here this way and i'm gonna draw one of them over here so the one who is lucky will be which one who comes first who dares challenge me eh uh eh eh is it you all right yeah so i'm gonna have him come out over here and follow me uh and then we're gonna try to you know take care of him uh away from the other one so let's go master dark mode let's go bring it on bro uh let's see yeah we're pretty we're as close to the uh, walls we can get so anyway let's get him over here a little bit let me bounce at him right, there we go let's go ahead and let him hit us shield it do that there we go and have at him just, yeah, rinse and repeat pretty much. I don't want to go any closer than I have to. The other one, but it looks like he's not going to be much of an issue. Let's go ahead and back up a second so he can you know, have a chance to recover. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And kill him. Ah. And jump attack. There we go. Knock him off his feet. And dead. Alright. Easy peasy. And you have a lot of room to work with anyway. Oh my god. Three dark nuts in a crowded room. Ugh. Well, anyway, over here we have uh, this little group. So let's go ahead and hit us. Hit him next. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I uh, missed the shield dash. There we go. Get in there. There we go. And he's pretty much, he's done. Yeah. We have this in the bag. We're not going to get covered at all. Right. Hit us there. There we go. There we go. Jump jack and slice him. Think one more cycle. We'll do it. Yeah, he's dead. Now. There we go. All right. So, ooh, we get a lot of hearts too. Sweet. All right. Let's go. We've earned our reward, I believe, and that would be to go through. Uh, where's the door? Uh, we want to go through this door over here first. Um, the reason why I went through the other door first was because it gave us, you know, a warp point back up to the balcony. So, yeah, it gave us a chandelier that we could climb. Uh, however, if we open this chest over here, what do we get? What do we get? We get a purple rupee. All right. Cool. Now, if you step over on this switch over here, there we go. Cool beans. We get a chest over there. 
Now, um, I could get that chest. It's, I believe, a silver? It's, I think it's a silver rupee. But, honestly, it's really not worth me going over there to get it right now. Yeah, we're going to hold out on that. Uh, if you want money, then by all means go for it. But, uh, it's worth, you know, not worth it me going all the way down there, you know, just to get a rupee that we're really not going to be using. So, yeah. Okay. Now, we are outside over here. These are the battle mints. I don't know if I showed this to you in the other episode. Uh, like in the last episode, but, you know, we have a mm, tower-looking thing over there, but I want to ignore that tower. I want to go over to this tower right over here first, because, you know, you get something kind of cool for doing this. So you can see we have a door over there that's locked, but, you know, oh, we do have a key. We could go through there, but again, well, I want to kind of save that key. Now, if you decided to take, like, you know, that route over there and then came around over here, this door would be barred. So, yeah, we can't go through the other door, you know, with those two uh, lizard uh, dudes. Uh, hello. What do we have here? Woo! Oh, boy. Fun times with uh, Dragonite. Sweet. Yeah, we can catch you like we can in Pokemon Go, but whatever. Actually, I actually haven't played that game yet. It looks like a lot of fun. I just don't have a good enough phone that will play it. So, <laughs> alas, I have uh, had to... Uh, um, you know, stay away from Pokemon Go, but, you know, maybe one day I'll get into it, but regardless, we have this loser here, and we just have to sit and be patient while he does his thing. Come on, you, come here. I need you from there. Let's go, bro. All right, go ahead and get him, and let's slice him up, and let's eat. There we go. Ooh, I wanted to get the strike. You... Ooh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Play fair. Oh, I guess. I mean, we have, like, the best sword ever, so what are you going to do? Alright, well, he's dead, so that's cool. Let's uh, go on over here and get our prize. And in here, what do we get? We get... We get a key! Alright, cool beans. So, like I say, we could go through that door right now if we wanted to. But, I want to go ahead and check out the other battlement over there. Uh, because, well, you know, there might be something cool over there, too. Like I say, we did take a harder pass, so, uh... Although, you know, you can get here, you know, easy as well. But, you know... I think it's fine to take the harder path and, you know, kill everything. 100% it. Why not? Let's go on over here. Ooh, we got the big key over there. Let's go. It opens. Hello. Let's go. Oh, my. Whoa. Oh, my God. We have six enemies? We can't deal with six. What? Oh, God. Huh? What the? Oh, hey, cool. Let's go. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Yo! Is that a hawk? Hey, it's him! We got those guys, our friends. I don't know what Chad was doing there, but hey, cool! Alright! Oh, it's nice that we have our friends that have our backs for us. That's awesome. Yeah, so we didn't have to go through that, you know, just to... <laughs> yeah, they would have all died. We would have got it anyway, but, you know, whatever. We good to have friends in interesting places. I don't know. But we get the big key for all of our troubles. Yeah! All right. So, let's go ahead on over back to that door that was locked, and then we can go, um, you know, through the dungeon. Like I say, uh, if you want that ruby, by all means, go for it. That's hanging out in the uh, entryway. But... Me, personally, I'm doing just fine with what I have. 400 rupees? No, I think we can get through the rest of the game with those just fine, but whatever. So, where are we now? Let's see. Ooh, yeah, spooky. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well. My controller's rumbling. Oh, I can barely move. Well, you know what this means, guys. Let's go back into wolf form. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah, we have a skeleton. We have, um, rats, and we have ghosties. Hi, ghosties. No! Landing good. So, we have a uh, little uh, puzzle over here. I jumped the gun a little bit too fast to show you what it is exactly, but these ghosts, if you come up to them, they will point you in the direction of, like, where you need to go. So, they will point you to safe blocks. So, keep your, uh, keep, um, senses on, because they will point you in the right direction, because you can't see them otherwise. So, yeah, let's, uh, do this. Uh, I guess you could technically speedrun this, uh, without having to use, uh, the wolf form, but, you know, I'm just gonna do this for 
completion sake, why not? Thankfully, they don't, like, push you off the edge if you, like, you know, go through them, so. Alright, and that's it, yep, so, pretty easy room. I just happened to jump the gun, and that, you know, was not good. Now, you, um, sadly, can't use Minna's help here, although she would be perfect to guide our a friend, the Link, the wolf. Hello, through this section, but I guess we'll be turning back to human now, because we have some losers over there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch over to these bombs over here. Actually, I haven't shown these off yet. Let's do this. We have uh, these guys here, bomblings. What can they do? Well, they can cause havoc for you by doing that. One. Can you go over here? Oh, boy. I didn't get to show off more raw either. Oh, well, well, those are bomblings. They're similar to another item in other Zelda games where... The bombs will crawl along the floor for you. And, yeah, they're pretty nifty, you know. I mean, not, you know, not spectacular, but, yeah, they're cool. All right, so, if you try to turn into a wolf, uh, Sally Minna will not help you here. So, how to get across? Well, come over here, and you can grapple to these. I don't know why it doesn't burn the metal, but, you know, whatever. Uh, it's uh, Zelda logic for you. So, let's go ahead and grapple all the way across over here. Try not to fall, because you will have to start over if you do. All right, let's go over here. And there you go, sweet. All right, we have these losers over here. Let's uh, pull out our bombings again. Let's see if I can line it up perfectly this time. We'll do one over there, and we'll do one over there. Oh, cool, I kind of glitched out the game. Neat, sweet, all right, cool beans. And now we have this section over here. Yay, I really love this section. I really don't love this section. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We can do this in the first shot, but we have these guys here, so yeah. We need to climb the track. We're gonna go ahead and do this one here first. Oh boy, yeah. Like I say, the timing is super weird on these things. Sometimes I can like try to get off it at a certain time, and it won't jump. Kind of annoying. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, that was a bad thing. Oops. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can jump the track over here the proper way. Excuse me. We're gonna do that. There we go. Oh boy, that was bad timing. Oh hi. Uh, cool. Well, ah, really? Okay. <laughs> I goofed there. That was my bad. Do I land? No, I don't land on the stairs. Well, practice this. Uh, yeah, and I get it first try. Oh boy. Uh, in actual theory, actually doing this, I completely fail. Of course. Um, yay me. All right, let's go ahead and wait for the thing to go past that way first. Do that now. There we go. And we'll do that. There we go. Now we got it. Cool. Alright, is there anything over here? Yeah, well, we have that loser. Fun time. Thankfully, there's not like four of them, you know. The final thing to fight is four Dark Nuts. Yay. Alright, so this is the advanced Dark Nut. Again, no, nothing too serious. We can do this. Ooh. He's our final obstacle, I think. It's like fighting you know, the Anagor for saving Zelda. Is one final Dark man. Let's go. Let's see. Do that. Here we go. Easy peasy. About the freaking time that we have a East Dark Knight fight, you know, again. Oh my god. Three in a row. Jeez. That is so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Thankfully, we were able to get out of it without a, not too much of a hassle. Okay, yeah, we'll just do that. And hit Jen. There we go. And jump attack. Ow. You actually hit me. Alright, let's go, bro. That, there we go. Get him out of that. Stutter him. Do that. There we go. That should kill him. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that would do it. There we go. However, you see that room over here that you can see on the map with a ton of treasures in it? If you didn't pick up that key in the graveyard, you cannot access this room. Getting back to that room is a pain in the butt. Let's go ahead and go in here and see what the reward is that we get for uh, completing the entire dungeon. So, we have lots of vases, vases, excuse me. We have five little treasures over, no, we have a ton of little treasures over here, and we have five big treasure boxes over here. Why I didn't want to get that ruby in that room, you know, go ahead and collect everything, is we get orange ruby here. We get, what do we get in here? We get, Dooku seeds that we will never ever use. We never use our slingshot past some certain, like the first dungeon. We get a silver rupee. 300 rupees right there. 
I started using bomb wings for another reason here, because we get them right in here. We get ten. Awesome. So, cool beans. And in here, we get, I believe, it's uh, 50 rupees. Yeah. All right. Cool. Like I say, um, if I had gotten um, that ruby that was uh, on the balcony, ooh, cool, get this, uh, I would not have enough for it because it would, like, drop me, um, or I would, like, not have a, ooh, there is, cool. uh, I would not have enough rubies for that 50 ruby piece, it would drop me at, like, 950, 600, I don't know, so. but we have a little, little treasure over here, too, we have uh, arrows, I've been spamming those quite a bit, so, yeah, that's why, because I knew we would get a lot more, so, yeah. We get the green, yay! What do we get in here? Let's see. What do we get? I think we get water bombs in this one? Yeah, we got water bombs. That's why I've been using those a lot too, so. Yay! So we're gonna use these again, but whatever. Alright, what's in this one? Collect all our spoils. We deserved it. We get 20 arrows. Not bad. Let's see. Could have used these in the cave or deals with whatever. Ooh, 15 more. Nice. Oh, we only need all those, but yeah, whatever. Alright, I think we get like a five ruby in this one? Uh, can you get the trash, please? Yeah, 20. Oh, I was wrong. Good. Thank goodness. Um, 7 times 77. Nice. I like that number. Oh, I ruined it. Yeah, well, whatever. Maybe I'll use, uh, ooh, yay. Alright, you know what? We're KidLink77. Why don't we go ahead and, uh, uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and head on out over here real fast. I'm gonna put on the magic armor. We're gonna, you know, leave our rupees at 777. Not 77. That would be, uh, That'd be kind of uh, crazy. <laughs> because why not? It's a lot. We're at the finale, guys. This is the finale. Uh, next video will be the finale. All right, let's see if I can time this right. 777. We're good. Yeah, all right. With that, guys, we're going to call an episode here. Next episode is the finale of The Legend of Zelda. Of The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. You guys have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.